the monster gonna be here? Oh my god, why am I not reading? Fragile but not breakable by hand. What the fuck do I do then? I just like like this. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? The seventeenth of May. What are you doing? 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am uh, terrified. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Oh no, not the, the impossible thing I can geometry. Remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. You really did a good job at fixing that hole. Just lab four planks on it, and it's good, right? Now, I don't know where to go. Because, wait, have I opened it? I just, yeah, good. Uh, like, the closest is off. I'm pretty sure. Ping plong, ping plong. <coughs> oh! That actually scared me, bro! <laughs> okay, well, I guess that works. I opened it by throwing um, Pair on it. Yeah, his name is Pair. I'm keeping him now. We're going on a trip. Okay. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. Dude, I hear the monster. I literally hear him. I'm wasting all my tinder boxes on lighting this room up. Don't care. But I hear him, it's like in there. Oh. Can I not break this? What if I jump on it? I swear this should be the way to do it. Oh wait, what if I use pad? Yeah. All stuffed and bread and butter and castle. Brandenburg, Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstaff, Alst deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is a picture skew. Yes, as picture skew as can be. 
Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. By the dark. Ask any Loken and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their broad bodies, wrought by their painted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is in their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, uh, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? How many are there? Two more, that's fine. A visit undone. Uh, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known er erudite, visited Altstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight, 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 as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent, prom prominent members of society paid notice as he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mere mysterious man who visited this sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened? The Immortal Baron the Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstad and is like most those of noble birth. Rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Uh, researching the history re reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. Uh, it was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish, flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea of that the Baron is in fact the one and same who came from the west over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Hey, damn that was a story and a half. Now what, what the fuck was I supposed to do in here? I can touch these books. I have a lot, I can probably use that and more. Quite a bit. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe it's something with the books. I could move that one book. Here's another book I can move. Where's the last? I feel like there should be a third book. Shit is so smart. Holy fuck. Well, have you ever met someone as smart as me? 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have to fucking hide. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Is he like waiting? I don't know why I'm hiding in real life. It's not like he can see in real life, but. Oh, that door just opened. I don't wanna. I don't want to. Can I close this door? I cannot. You know what? We're gonna go there in a sec. I'm just gonna. Dude, I'm so terrified. You know, I could have bought fucking Stardew Valley. <laughs> okay, uh, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their abs with their absent-minded handling of open vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. Just a matter of time. Right, it's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilmer and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The vine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would in a sense solve both my problems. Okay. Whew. I got the wine store key, so I feel like I don't even have to go into that room. We're gonna go back. Oh no, wait, that's fucking. Yeah, that's locked. Fuck. I have to go there. But he made a noise in there. Okay, we're gonna take this slow. Why am I- why is my heart beating? I mean, my heart is beating in real life, but why is it beating in here? Oh my god. Come back, 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 We're good. We're good. I'm fucking terrified, actually, man. My heart is going like 200 right now. <laughs> I feel like I have to go there, though. Like, I have to progress the story. And I, oh my god, my heart can't take this. What the fuck is that noise? Where did I come from? I need to go back. I came from here, right? Because I need to go to the wine cellar. Helvete! Oh my. Oh my. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Can you guys tell I'm fine? Honestly, 